Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Tara, I make skincare products. And if you like that kind of content, make sure you subscribe and also thumbs up this video and leave a comment if you want. So today I'm gonna be duping the Watermelon Tree Hut Shea Sugar Scrub. And I think I got it guys. Now I'm obviously not gonna be using the exact same ingredients. So please do not complain in the comments. This is a dupe, not a replica. But this is the watermelon shea sugar scrub i will be duping and i am using a lot of the same ingredients basically my base ingredients are the same but they're using a blend of a bunch of different plant oils i'm only going to be using two different plant oils they also use a different type of coloring i decided to go with mica powder i actually used a pink mica powder but as it sits it ends up looking red um so it does basically have the same color as well and this was a very last minute video. I wasn't planning on making this video this week. I was planning on making it at some point, just not this week. And I wanted to actually have the Watermelon Tree Hut Scrub in person to share, to compare the two on camera. But yeah, that didn't happen. I made this last minute, but I do plan on duping some more Tree Hut Scrubs in the future. So next time I do, I will make sure that I have their actual scrub to compare the two. But here is the texture and kind of like the viscosity of the scrub. It's thick enough that it won't pour out. You can tip it upside down. If you've ever used these scrubs before, you probably have a good idea of what the texture is and can do a good comparison of you know what I got here on camera. I think I did a pretty good job replicating the exact texture. I don't think it's like 100% the same, but I, I, don't, I don't have it to compare in person. I can only go off my memory, but I used my watermelon scrub up. I don't have it anymore, but I have used it before, the one by Tree Hut, but yeah. So enough rambling, let's go ahead and take a look at the formula. So here's the formula we're gonna be using and you can screenshot this formula so you can make whatever batch size you would like. If you're not familiar with formulas, I actually have a video explaining how to transfer formulas into recipes. So I'll link that video down below. But today we're gonna to be making a 250 gram batch and we're gonna be starting with phase A. You do wanna make sure you have a heat safe container. I'm using a 500 milliliter glass beaker and I'm gonna add in 80.75 grams of sunflower oil. You can use whatever oil you would like, olive oil, apricot kernel oil, any of those oils, whatever. Then five grams of watermelon oil. If you don't have this oil, just skip it. I decided to add it because it adds to the watermelon theme. All right, this ingredient you cannot skip. I'm not gonna try to pronounce it. You see it on the screen. I'm just gonna call it silica for short. There are different kinds of silica, but make sure you get this one specifically. I'm gonna be calling it silica though, cause I can't pronounce the other two words. So the silica is the key ingredient to create the texture because it's silica, the silica swells in oil. And this is a very, very light weight, very airborne powder. You need to make sure you're wearing some kind of respirator, like not a normal mask, just you want a respirator. A normal mask isn't, uh, isn't strong enough. So make sure it's a respirator. I'll link to one down below. And this will prevent the powder from going into your lungs. You really don't want that to happen. It goes everywhere, I promise. And I added in 5.5 grams of it. And um, this stuff is key. It's going to hydrate in the oils and it will swell up in the oils and it helps thicken oils. But it won't thicken fully yet. You'll see the, the part when it'll thicken up. Anyways, the stuff makes a mess. So go ahead and clean up. And you want to gently, very gently, preventing the powder from going airborne, mixing it into the oil. This took some time. So just be patient with it and take your time. All right, so here's what she looks like. The silica isn't completely mixed in. You'll still see chunks. Don't worry, we'll fix that problem here in a little bit. So the next thing I'm going to do is add in the shea butter. And I'm adding in 7.5 grams. You could use mango butter if you want. Instead, it's a very soft butter. So just make sure you use a soft butter. Then I actually should have added this in uh, after I added the oil, but whatever, it ended up working out. This is Ballet Slippers Pink Mica Powder. I used 0.30 grams. I would recommend 0.30 grams per 250 grams of scrub. And it is pink, but as it sits in the product, it ends up turning red. You guys will see later on in the video. And I'll link to this exact mica powder below, but I do believe like any pink mica powder should work pretty well. You don't need to get the exact one that I used. So now I'm heading on over to my water bath. I just filled a pan with like an inch of water and placed my beaker into it. 
and you're going to want to put it on about medium heat and you're going to want to come back periodically to mix it to help melt the shea butter and to help get the silica to fully dissolve into the oils. So while that's heating up, grab another beaker. This one doesn't need to be heat safe. Um, and this is phase B. So I'm going to add in 17.5 grams of glycerin. This is a humectant. It will help hydrate the skin. And then I'm adding in 12.5 grams of polysorbate 20. Honestly, I don't know if polysorbate 80 would work as a substitute. You can try it. Let me know if it works, but polysorbate 20 is what tree hut uses. So that's what I'm using. And then you want to go ahead and mix the two together and it will thicken up just a little bit and you'll have like a viscosity kind of like this. All right, now we can go ahead and remove phase A from the heat once the shea butter is melted and all the silica is mixed in. And now you want to mix phase A while you slowly pour in phase B. And you'll notice this is when phase A will thicken. Once phase A and B are combined, you'll get a nice like, um, pretty, it's not really thick, but hold on, I'll show you guys. Let me just finish mixing everything in. All right, that is the texture you want. Something like that. There we go. Perfect consistency. Now you want to wait for it to cool down. I waited until it was room temperature and we can add in the phase C ingredients. So I'm adding in a oil soluble watermelon extract. This is from Brambleberry and I added in 2.5 grams of it. If you don't have watermelon extract, you could use a different extract. Any oil soluble extract should work fine. Or if you don't have any, just replace it with oil instead. Then I'm going to add in 3.75 grams of Optifin, which this is a preservative. And then I'm adding in 111.5 grams of sugar. This is the exfoliant. And I do recommend using white granulated sugar. It will give you the best color payoff. And this is probably the same kind of sugar that Tree Hut uses. And there you go. That's the kind of texture you'll have. All right, now we're going to add in some poppy seeds. I also got these from Brambleberry. The tree hut scrub uses kiwi seeds, but I couldn't find where to purchase any. So I just tried to find some kind of little pebble like things that are black that you can put in the skincare products. And I figured poppy seeds would work great. And I only added in one gram. You don't need too much. And then lastly, I'm adding in this juicy watermelon flavor oil. I added in 2.5 grams, but you can use a watermelon fragrance oil. I actually had a watermelon fragrance oil from Brambleberry I should have used. I completely forgot I had it, but I used the flavor oil instead, but that works. It's totally fine to use flavor oils as fragrance oils. They're the same thing, except flavor oils are lip safe. And this is the texture you'll have. And you'll notice over time, the mica powder will change a little bit in color. Here is the jar I'm using. It's the most similar jar I could find to Tree Huts, and this is about five ounces. I bought it on Amazon. I'll link it below. And look, you can already tell the color has changed a little bit. The longer the mica sits, the more like deeper red it'll get. And also, by the way, this product, you don't have to take and adjust the pH because it is anhydrous. So that means it has no pH. And here's a good little close up of the watermelon scrub. If you've ever used Tree Hut scrubs, I'm telling you, this looks exactly like it. When you open up a Tree Hut one, this is what you'll be presented with. Literally, guys, I, I, I think I got it pretty spot on. Um, yeah, I absolutely have been obsessed with Tree Hut scrubs lately, and I've been trying for so long to replicate like the exact texture of the Tree Hut scrubs. And yeah, I, I just needed a video uh, for this Sunday, so I filmed this last minute. And yeah, here's what I came up with. I really hope you guys enjoyed this formula. Let me know if you guys want to see me dupe any other kind of products. Like I said, I will be duping more tree hut scrubs. If you have a specific tree hut scrub you would like to see me dupe, let me know in the comments. And again, whatever other products you want me to dupe, let me know. Also, by the way, go check out my Patreon. I post two exclusive videos on there every single month. So I have a lot of content on there you can binge watch. And also go follow me on Instagram. I post on Instagram all the time. So I love connecting with you guys on there. All right, don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up. Leave me a like, that's the same thing, um, and comment below. All right, talk to you later.